So, uh, what's good, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the TED IT, um, where networking and programming is the culture. I'm your host, Dominic Mack. And in today's episode, I wanted to give my well, it's been a long time coming, a long time overdue for this video. I really want to give my opinion. Well, it's going to be two videos I'll make uh, with my opinion. Or it's going to be plenty. You know what? I'm not even going to give an a exact number. I'm just going to give my feedback on certain exams I've taken, um, courses I've have, I have taken and everything like that. So I split into different videos. So anyway, anyway, the focus, the focal point of this video is giving my feedback on the hmm, which one. You know, I get my feedback on the Google, I think what it's called, the Google IT Support Specialist um, Certification Program or course that you'll take on Coursera, Coursera.com. Um, yeah, that's the, I'm a, I really felt kind of sideways about, sideways about that course that I've taken. Um, as you didn't know, uh, if you didn't know, as you didn't know, if you didn't know, um, Google has their, they have their own IT support specialist certification program that is hosted on Coursera.com. Um, very good website. One of many websites that I've used so far, um, for higher learning or just, just increasing my skills. I say higher learning too, as well. Uh, just because they have like uh, Harvard university with their business, um, business uh, courses. Uh, they have the, I think, um, Syracuse University have some courses on there um, and plenty of other universities that have their courses on there and a lot of um, big name um, software companies as well. Software, yeah, like IBM. I think IBM has a course on there. I think Cisco has something on there as well. Last time I've checked. But, um, but yeah, the the Google, Google recently came out, well, probably been a good while now but it's not it's not that old it's recently new um they came out with this thing called the it support specialist course or certification and basically they run you through networking how to run different operating systems like windows 10 um ubuntu or unix linux ubuntu of course and um and how to do secure, like secure networks, so network security, stuff like that, understanding security, understanding um, parts of a computer, understanding how to set up servers, like email servers, um, work with GPOs or group policies, um, I think GP, yeah, group policies, containers, stuff like that. And, uh, okay, the, the, the pros about this, if you're a person that's new to IT, like just, like, I mean, like new, like green, milk behind the ears if you get my drift what i'm saying um if you're new to it it's a great program that be in it's a great course a great certification course to go through it runs through damn near anything and anything and everything as a begin it runs through everything all the basics when it comes to becoming an IT. All the basics. It runs through everything. Networking, simple networking terminology, how uh, packets are being transferred through TCP or UDP. Uh, it tells you, <laughs> breaks down everything from explaining how DHCP server works, how proxy servers work, how um, Kerberos works, how, what's the difference between Attack X Plus server against a Radius uh, server? Uh, it, it just breaks down everything from security, to understanding DDoS, DOS, man in the middle, man in the browser, all these types of terminologies and uh, concepts. They really hit home on everything on that program. That's great. That's the pro for it. That's the pro for a beginner. Uh, me being in the field for a good while, uh, being an IT for damn near um, going on four years in the military. You know, I'm I'm planning to get out soon and you know I I came across this program um just by an ad it was an ad Google putting it on there um looking at YouTube and seeing a lot of ads on YouTube and I said you know give it a try but for me being in the field for a very good uh, for a good while it was good it was a good refresher 
It was good for, you know, just to basically review all the stuff that I've, you know, some of the things I've forgotten, some things that I've known, but really wasn't, um, uh, uh, like I knew it, but it was like, oh, like, that's what it is, you know, I was thinking of that word or that term or how this worked, you know, so uh, for me, it was somewhat helpful, but I don't think it's helpful enough to get you a job per se. I still think that you would need to, my opinion, I think you still would need to go through CompTIA and get the ITF or the Information Technology Fundamentals Plus Court uh, Certificate or the A Plus Certification Certificate. Just because, for one, that Google cor- that Google course prepares you for that, um, so you can literally take that course. And then I, me personally, I believe you can just go straight into taking the A plus exam. I, I mean, maybe run over a few things, like run over the objectives for the A plus or the IT ITF plus exam. But I think maybe just one week of running over the objectives, and I think you should go ahead and take it once you finish the course for uh, for the Google IT support specialist. Um, one thing that I like though, uh, they also, one pro, another pro, I forgot about this. Say if you get the A plus certification first and then you're going to take the course and you finish the course, they, um, it, it, they, the certification from Google and CompTIA, they complement each other almost. So, um, but again, you would still need to get the A plus certification. Uh, or the ITF plus certification. Um, that's just me. If you're just starting off as IT, just get those certificate. Look those certifications up. I wrote a blog on this on my website www.thetetit.com. Uh, I did a whole article on um, certifications that you need to get into, or you would have to get to start your career in IT if you're look. Are you if you're just fresh and just want to do something in computers? But um, but with the course, uh, it was like I said, very informative. But the commercial, I think the commercial man for real got me. It, for, for, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna be real with you. The the commercials, like that dude, um, the 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 the, the heavy set dude, white dude with the hair and everything, and then I think it was another one with the black dude in the cubicle, whatever. I think that's the, the two ones I've seen. I think it was a third one, but I think the two main ones I've seen. It was the two commercials i've seen too and other than that i'm like so anybody else there is there any success stories other than them getting that job you know getting a job just using the google it support specialist certification you know so i mean don't don't get me wrong when i uh i got a few interviews um over the phone interviews during this quarantine uh and i told them like uh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. I had, oh my God, I had some um, chicken tikka masala. Yeah, it's pretty good. With some um, butter naan. Yeah, I, one, I went to the, you know, went to the Middle East for deployment and just fell in love with Indian food. And still, it's not the same here, I don't think. The garlic naan was, ugh. This is way better over there. But anyway. When I went through my um, interview and everything over the phone and I told them, like, yeah, I completed. I have two certifications. I have the Google IT support specialist certification and I also have the CompTIA Network Plus N10007 certification. So I had those two certifications and they said, oh, that's that's good. So I don't know if they'll say the same thing if I didn't have the Network Plus. Um, A lot of people. Uh, off, I'm going off tangent with this, but I, th- I feel like a lot of people um, don't give the Network Plus certification its props. I feel like if you trying to understand a network, I think you need to, you know, get certified in knowing a network, you know, how to create one, how to manage one, how to secure one. Um. I strongly believe that once you get your A plus, and just like I said, off tangent, if you get your ITAF, uh, ITAF, ITF plus or A plus, I think you should go straight to Network Plus instead of going from A plus to Security Plus, because how can you secure something that you know nothing about? How can you secure a network and you know nothing about networks? You don't know how to secure um 
what is Kerberos? How do how how is Kerberos a way of securing a network? How is TechX Plus a way of securing? Like you don't know if it's a server that secures, um, admin equipment. You know you don't know that that's the security that's used when you gain access to the network to administer routers and switches. That's what TechX Plus server is used for. You know, Radius is another thing. A, a Radius is another way of securing a, a network by you know. Um, giving people passwords and usernames to access the network before, you know, accessing, getting permission to access the network before, you know, anything, you know. So just knowing if you if you don't know nothing about that, if you know nothing about EAP, Leap, Peep, uh, EAP, TLS, like if you don't know none of that, like what's the point? Like why go jump from A plus knowing about the simple software and, and the equipment and jumping all the way to securing it. Like, okay, well, there's stuff between computers and securing computers, securing a computer or a network. You have to know the network to secure something. You know, know the computer, know the parts and what, is it do, and what it does, know the network that that computer is connected to. And then once you know that, then you know, okay, well, I think we need to use EAP over TLS when it comes to sending passwords over the network. You know, yeah, I have to, EAP was a very, very strong, like that, that was a difficult subject of mine when taking the network, like studying for Network Plus, I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, I finally got the understanding behind it, but yeah. Anyway, back on track, like I was saying, um, the Google, like I said, um, my favorite part was um, what was the operating systems part? I think uh, a power user be a power user. Um, learning the OS, so learning like Windows file system, learning um, NTFS, learn about what is NTFS, what is um, FAT32, the partitions, like what kind of partition um, uh, does Windows? What's the difference between a partition in Windows um, and Ubuntu? You know, learning about the different commands that you can use on PowerShell, the different commands you, well, it's just PowerShell. They use PowerShell. They don't use CLI, the command line interface on Windows. But PowerShell is a very strong, a very fucking strong um, program in Windows, like very strong. I, I did not know that until I took this course um, of Linux. Linux, I already knew because of college. I took classes learning about Ubuntu, so Unix, Linux, and everything. Matter of fact, here in my library, I used to, this is the same book right here. This is the same book that I've used in college. And it's this is old. This book is old. This book is like, this is fourth generation. And this is back in 2000. I took this class in like 2014, 13, I think. So this is, this covers the Linux. This is the all, Unix in a nutshell. This covers everything. Like it says, a quick reference book for Solaris, Unix, Linux, and Mac OS. So like I already knew some of those like some of the commands within um, Linux, the one thing that really helped me was just learning how Windows works, how PowerShell is operated, which is very, very easy. I mean, literally, it's like sentences. That's all it is. Like, literally, you're typing sentences. Like, literally, I want to get this file. Like, get this file or um, copy this file. Like, simple stuff like that. Simple phrases are commands when it comes to PowerShell. So that probably was the most valuable class that I found interesting, and I really found like really helped me um, with understanding Windows, Windows 10, just the Windows in general, um, and, and 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 Linux a little bit as well. Um, but yeah, that my opinion on it. If I rated this certification. Which I'm gonna be honest with you, I really wasn't proud once I finished it and everything because the fact that it wasn't, I just feel like with a certification, you should be able to take a test for it. Like, I feel like you should just, you know, learn, like they teach you, you learn it online or read it or whatever, and you go and take the test to see if you test your knowledge. It wasn't the case with this one. This one was just, you go through the whole um, five lessons or I think five or six lessons or whatever. Once you complete all the lessons, you're, you're qualified, you know. I mean, Maybe because uh, I think it should. I mean, okay, it could it should count because of the fact that you're paying fifty dollars a month for Coursera to use it. You know, so a fifty a fifty dollar a fifty dollar subscription to Coursera just to get that certification. And maybe that may it may be worth it because it it only took me six months and like what 
50 times 6, I spent what? That $300? I think so. Yeah, so. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it was worth it. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, like I said, for me, it was a refresher of everything that I learned already. Um, it helped me out with my Network Plus exam. It did it really did. Uh, I really like. I would literally look at the videos and then study and then like, oh, okay, now I understand it. And I would use that as a means of helping me study for the Network Plus exam, along with other videos, other learning material that I have as well. But um. If I rate this, I give it like a four point. Do we do four point three ratings like Amazon? I don't know. Maybe, maybe a four star or three point seven stars for the like. If you're new to IT, get it. If you're new to IT, it's a very good way to get your feet wet and to understand what really goes on. Um. Like I said, subscription is fifty dollars a month. New to it is worth it. A lot, like I said, as long as you're going for the network plus, I mean the network plus, scratch that, that at A plus or ITF plus certifications as well, because they all, like I said, they complement each other. They actually have a thing. They actually have a a way of taking their certification and A plus certification and combining it to where it. Basically makes you look good once you get it. Uh, that's the best way I know how to explain it. But um, yeah, I think it's worth it. I think is if you're new to it, it's worth it. If you're not new to IT, I wouldn't even waste my time. If you already got the A plus certification, don't even worry about it, dude. Maybe it'll look good for you when you go apply for a job at Google. Eh, maybe. Other than that, man, don't even worry about it. Like I said before, but I say this, once you get A+, plus, go straight to Network+, plus, dude. Know the computer, know where the computer is working, and then know how to secure a computer. Excuse me, if I'm moving my head like this too much, like I said, I, I just had some good, it was all right, like I said, it was good Indian, all right Indian food, I wouldn't say good. But, um, yeah, that's my opinion on it. Like I said, if you're new to it, go and get it. Along as long as you're going to get the A plus and A I T I T F plus through CompTIA, look that up. Um, if you're not new to it, if you've been doing IT for a good while and you just decided, you know what, let me go get certified. You know, let me go and get this out the way and everything. Don't do it. Just go straight to A plus, dude. Just take, get the A plus certification. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's it for this video. Um, slash podcast slash vlog. Um, with my opinions on the Google IT support specialist certification, um, like I said, just, just go ahead and do it and everything, you know, do it if you're new, don't do it if you're not new, um, subscribe to my channel for more information on everything IT and programming, um, also leave the comments below, share your experiences, Sh share your thoughts on this, on this topic, share your thoughts. If you, if you recently took the, this, ex uh, certification or this course, let me know and what you think about it. You know, did it help you out? Did it, did it open your eyes to under, like understanding it or understanding like the computer more? Um, do you think it's worth getting, um, towards getting a job or like start starting to get a new job? Um, just let me know down below and everything. Um, I, re I would really like to know that. I would really love to know what's your opinion on this. Because uh, I've been seeing a lot of people been doing videos on it and everything. And I ain't gonna lie. I haven't. I, no, I haven't watched it. I just seen it. And I haven't watched none of them. No. I'll, I'll be honest. I ain't watched none of them. You know, I just. I thought about making this video of, of, like a while back. Like, at, like literally after I took it. But I never had a chance to do it. So. Like I said, just in the comments below, let me know how you feel about it. Um, hit the like button if you like this content and subscribe. Smash that subscribe button to stay on top of the latest videos. Please show some love. And if you if you don't like it, let me know in the comments below. Let me know why you didn't like it. You know, I, I love to hear your opinions. I love to talk, as you can see, because I ramble a lot, I feel like. But yeah, so like I said, thank you again for watching. Peace. And I see you next time or I catch you next time. Peace out.